The marine organism we're going to identify now is the red-lipped blenny. Red-lipped blennies are usually spotted perched on a rock outcropping or a coral head guarding their territory. They can be very aggressive and will chase any fish that comes too close to their self-proclaimed territory. Red-lipped blennies are larger members of the blenny family. They can reach a length of up to five inches, but most are in the two and a half to four and a half inch range. They can range in color from a light gray to a dark reddish brown with some sporting a two-tone coloration with a dark head and a lighter back half of their body. They have a very blunt, almost vertical head with a red tint to their head and lips. Red-lipped blennies perch on a rock using their elongated ventral fins and their tail. They generally move across the reef in little hops during which they barely rise above the surface of the coral. If threatened, they will quickly dart into a hole on the reef. Red-lipped blennies are generally not afraid of divers or snorkelers. If you get too close for their comfort, they will simply swim a short distance away and turn to watch you again. Red-lipped blennies are egg-laying fish, and the eggs are laid on the surface of the reef where they stick until they hatch. The eggs are guarded by the fish until they hatch to prevent predators from consuming them. Red-lipped blennies can be found throughout the tropical waters of the Americas, but their abundance varies by location. They prefer shallow rocky inshore areas, although I have seen them on fairly deep coral reefs. Their reported depth range is 1 to 35 feet, but I've personally seen them in the Turks and Caicos at depths of 45 feet or more. That's the red-lipped blenny.